Hey everybody, TJ's Reviews here, and we're gonna have a quick one for you today. So, we just got these from Costco, Real Good Food Company, chicken and pepper jack, cheese burritos loaded with chicken breast chunks, chicken breast with rib meat, pepper, jack, and cheddar cheese, lime juice, cilantro, hand rolled into a flour tortilla. Uh, four come in a package, cook and serve, keep refrigerated, no antibiotics ever. 13 net carbs, which is interesting, so I'm gonna talk about it later. Okay and 37 grams of protein. So, when I flip it over, nutritional facts, one burrito is 450 calories, and the saturated fat is pretty high, 85%. The sodium is relatively high, 980 milligrams is 43% of your daily value. But however, interestingly, fiber is 20 grams, which is 71% of your daily value. So th this burrito is very high in fiber, oddly enough. Also, I noticed that calcium was pretty high. It's a uh, 50% of your daily value. So, also, I noticed that if you look over here, you could call them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And also, they're publicly traded company, so they have a ticker symbol, RGF. So, I guess they must be a pretty big company. I've never heard of them. But, um, so, uh, without further ado, I'm going to cook it up and give it a try and let you know how it tastes. Okay, everybody, so I had to microwave this almost three minutes to get it inside uh, to be 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Turned it to Mount Vesuvius before it reached that temperature, but on the instructions, it says microwave 35 seconds for each side. So when I tested that, after 35 seconds, I have a 1200 watt microwave. It still wasn't even 100 degrees. So I think the instructions are a little bit off. Um... It also does say to put in a pan on the after you microwave, but it just says microwaving for 35 seconds and flipping for another 35 seconds should be close to an internal temperature of 165. So uh, that's not too accurate. And then it says pro tip, after a microwave or oven, put burrito in frying pan with light spray oil for two to three minutes, flip halfway. But that's not included in the cooking time of the microwave, so I think it's a little bit too short. That should be adjusted. But All right, so here we go. I'm going to try this burrito. As I said before, it took a lot more time to microwave, so I let it cool for a little bit, but it's still pretty hot. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. They don't chop up their chicken a lot, so when I bit it, I pretty much just got a mouthful of like solid chicken from what I get from the sauce it's very cheesy it actually tastes salty like very salty the sauce a little bit spicy but they need to cut up their chicken a little better because like a quarter of my burrito is just solid chicken right now let me try biting another section and see what happens all right a little bit more cheese but the chicken at least is ground up in this portion. This part is just like a huge chunk. This part is, you know, pretty consistent, but um, it's even saltier. So I don't know how they uh, only have 480 milligrams, but this taste is pretty salty. So if you're salt sensitive, I would say, you know, maybe not give it a try. It's a little spicy, so I probably won't give it to the little kid. Um, the cilantro, if you like cilantro, it definitely has some over here, but if you don't, I would suggest not getting it. Because some people really hate cilantro. Um, all in all, as a burrito, the consistency, the cooking instructions, the taste, I'd give it a two and a half. I probably wouldn't buy this again. It's just not, you know. Two it's... and a half out of 10? Oh yeah, two and a half out of 10, yes, yes. Two and a half out of 10, so not great. Like the flavor, the, the cooking, like the tortilla itself is very good. So maybe a three out of 10. Like the flour tortilla is pretty decent. But everything else like just doesn't come together. Like they need to try their chicken flying or fix their cooking instructions. Um, maybe decrease the salt, like taste in the in the sauce. It's very salty. But maybe I'll give that twenty four seven uh, hotline a call tonight or something, and then give them all these tips. They say twenty four seven, so let's see. All right. Well, uh, signing off for TJ's review here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, any comments you have, I'll just let me know if you want to know more about it. And take it easy, everybody.
Hello everybody, I got this shiny thing from Disney World and it's Ariel, my favorite movie. And it can light up and there's um, bubbles, but I have to get full when we put them and it can break like this. Like this. Awesome.